Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Imad Abdel Raqib Al Jumai. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Ibn Khaldun Secondary School. In my topic, I'm going to discuss blind trust. But first, what is blind trust? Blind trust is trusting someone without a second thought or hesitation. And secondly, what do most people blindly trust? Well, first, the media, second, TV programs, and third, old sayings. And lastly, I just want to thank Mr. Hassam Hawakin, my teacher, who was a great supporter, and my friends and family. And lastly, I just want to thank ELDJ for giving me this opportunity. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Imad Abdelraqib Al Jumai and today I'm going to discuss blind trust But first what is blind trust Blind trust in my opinion is trusting someone or something without a second thought or hesitation Now I know what you're all thinking about like Blind trust, really? That's the topic for kids. We're all adult, adults here. We all know who sh we should trust and who we shouldn't, but listen. Did you know that 72.23% of medical information on WhatsApp are false? And did you know that 24.75% 24, 24 of accounts on social media are fake? And did you know that 39.27% of news on social media programs are rumors? So they might be right, they might be wrong. But the biggest stun of them all, the one that shocked me the most, is 100%. And yes, I say 100%. That includes all of us. Believe me, without a second thought or hesitation, although I was lying, and I made all those numbers up, and this is what I like to call stage trust. You all trusted me just because I was standing on a stage and reading from the paper. And by the way, this is an empty paper. Now to our second point, which is trusting TV. I notice whenever I talk to a friend and he just want to prove his point, he just say this one phrase, I saw it on TV, and boom, he's right, I'm wrong. No one even bothers to listen. Well, did you know that there is at least 10 lies per channel every day? And yes, I just made that number up too, again. Now, let's stop lying and let's get to the real talk, which is trusting old sayings. There's an old saying that we all know, which is carrot enhances vision. But let me tell you the story behind this one. Back in the days of World War II, before I explain the story, let me set something clear. I'm going to be saying allies and axis quite a lot. When I say allies, that means the US government and its allies. And when I say axis, that's Germany and its, and its allies. Back in the days of World War II, both of these sites had anti-aircraft weaponry, the AA guns. But the only flaw to this weapon that was manly controlled, so it wasn't that effective for long range. But the US government had another one that was effective for long range, long range, because it was AI'd. So the German kept getting shut down. So, th so they sent some spies to the US. And the US government knew about it. So they made up this lie, which is carrot enhances vision. And to this day, people still believe that carrot do enhance his vision. What? You think I'm lying again? Well, research. That's the only way you're going to take the right information. In the Quran, Allah said, Therefore, if a wicked guy came to you with news, seek truth. We need to research. We need to take information from the right sources. Well, a question that might come to your mind, which is, what or who should I trust? Well, obviously, not me, but you can trust official account, governmental TV channel, and take the information from, right, from the right sources. 
official accounts such as the Ministry of Health official account on Twitter, official, oh, sorry. governmental TV channels such as Saudi First, such as Al Akhbariya, the news channel, and lastly, take information from the right sources. If you want a medical tip, you can't ask an engineer. You ask your doctor. Common sense. If you want to know something about engineering, you can't ask your chemistry teacher. You need to ask a guy who has experience in this specific uh, job. And lastly, I just want to say thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. And I hope I see you next time.